The internet is screaming at you that DaVinci Resolve is better than everything else. Myself included, but as someone who actively edits in both DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro, Final Cut is better at some things. So today I'm going to list off eight things that Final Cut Pro does better than DaVinci Resolve. And don't worry, to all my skeptics out there, none of these eight reasons are the magnetic timeline. I'm as tired of hearing about it as you are. So let's dive in. Reason number one, L and J cuts. L and J cuts in Final Cut Pro are so stupidly easy. And the funny thing about L and J cuts is it's not an overly complex editing technique. It's actually quite simple, but if you're in track-based editing, it can be kind of a pain to implement. Whereas in Final Cut, you literally just have to expand the audio track on a clip and slide the video angle, and it automatically creates an L and J cut super seamlessly. Again, you can do this technique in DaVinci Resolve, but it's just more complicated. Reason number two. Final Cut does not delete clips when you place a clip on top of another clip. You've been there, I know it. You have accidentally nuked something in Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve because it's track-based editing and it just lets you put stuff right on top of stuff and you never get it back. Until you hit Command Z a thousand times or find it again, I mean, again, you, depending on how far you go, it's not even worth it. But you've lost it. I love that in Final Cut, if I throw something on the timeline, if I accidentally am going to place it on top of something, it asks specifically, do you want to replace the clip? Which is great because nine times out of 10, I actually don't, and it was an accident. Okay, and I'm not trying to be too much of a tease here, but your boy did finally try CapCut. Don't worry, video coming out on it. It's, 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 it's in the pipes, it's in the, it's in the chamber ready to go. And spoiler alert, <laughs> CapCut has the ability to do a similar thing that it's 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 still sort of track based, but it doesn't overwrite tracks just like Final Cut. Black magic. It can be done. Please do this. Reason number three, multicam. Multicam editing is flawless in Final Cut Pro. And again, this one feels funny because they are very similar in the way that they do this, but there's some very key differences that Final Cut just wipes the floor with. My favorite thing about Final Cut is that even if I have switched an angle and I'm say I've got two camera angles and I'm going between shortcuts one and two to change my angles, if I get to a clip that I've already changed the angle on, but I want to change back and there's a cut there, I can still hit one of those shortcuts to change it to the other clip that I desire. DaVinci is stupid in that it will make those cuts and then once the cut is made, you can't switch it back, at least as far as I've ever been able to find without right clicking and changing the angle. It's a huge pain in the and even further with Final Cut Pro, when you actually do change that angle and you have it set to only use the video that is changing the angle, so you really like just the audio on one track, when you switch the angle, it automatically keeps that audio with that video track grouped and doesn't just make a cut on the video like DaVinci does. And again, then you still have to make a cut and do all these things. I mean, if you're multi-cam filming, like I'm doing right now, and you're going to cut out dead space, multicam editing in Final Cut is so much better. Reason number four, face tracking. Now, I've talked about this in the past. Final Cut's tracker is not nearly as good as DaVinci's tools, but all of that aside, Final Cut's ability to drag a photo or a text or some sort of element from your media and effects and drag it into the viewer and have it automatically recognize a face to then track the face automatically is so intuitive, so easy, and I just love it. Reason number five. This one is kind of a cheat, but I have to talk about it. Add Motion by FX Factory has changed my life. Keyframing sucks. Even someone who loves graphics and animation, I will admit, keyframing sucks. And Add Motion for Final Cut is the best tool I have ever used to animate graphics. Everything you've been seeing on the channel lately, both shorts and long form from me, all of the little graphics and whatever is because of Final Cut and Add Motion. That is what has been saving me hours of time and keeping me creative. I love Add Motion. And guys, the best part is Add Motion is actually sponsoring this video and I don't even have to like feel like I'm selling anything here. I've loved Add Motion for forever. I bought it a long time ago at full price and I have saved so many hours of time using this plugin. So when they wanted to sponsor this video, of course I was down. It's a match made in heaven. I literally love this product. And here's the best part. If you guys go down into the link in the description and use the code JakeyBaby to buy it from fxfactory.com, you're gonna actually get it for cheaper than I got it when I bought it once upon a time. So 
you're welcome. Thank you again to FX Factory for sponsoring this video. Reason number six, built-in custom text elements in Final Cut versus Text Plus in DaVinci. This one's rather subjective, but I have just found that time and time again, the ability to customize and do fun little animations with the custom text in Final Cut Pro is better than the Text Plus element in DaVinci. And again, this is kind of a common theme, but Final Cut out of the box gives you more power, more customization that's easier than what Resolve does out of the box, but Resolve has Fusion. So again, for 99, 98% of what I do, I love the custom text element. And if I can't quite get what I'm looking for, again, that's where you would want something like DaVinci, but 98% is almost everything I do. 60% of the time, it works every time. Reason number seven, the green screen effect in Final Cut. It's literally drag and drop 99% of the time for me. I know it's not that hard to do green screening in DaVinci, but the fact that I can just go into my effects in Final Cut and drag it onto a clip that has a green screen and it automatically detects the color roughly the best that it can and in my experience is like pretty much always spot on it just saves time and i just love that so green screen for the win in final cut all right and reason number eight the preview cursor playhead in final cut is amazing if you've never used video editing software that has this feature i always thought final cut was the only one and it is genuinely so it improves your speed of thought in an edit so quickly, just being able to move your mouse, hover over things, and then play from a different spot. I love this feature. And again, not to be a huge tease again, but in that CapCut video, I actually discovered that CapCut has this feature too. So it's not like some proprietary magnetic timeline thing. CapCut has it. So DaVinci, please add this feature and CapCut even lets you toggle it on and off. Oh, please. Resolve, I would cry if you added the secondary playhead. I, I would cry. It'd be amazing. All right, guys, that is everything from me today. Again, you know me, I'm all about the right tool for the right job. So if any of this stuff resonated with you in terms of like, hey, I do that in my editing or I love what Jake does, and I think I do a lot of similar things, you might want to consider Final Cut over DaVinci. But of course, as always, if you heard this and you're like, oh no, I need all of these things that DaVinci has, like, that's great. I've, I've been there, I'm there all the time. I'm usually using it. Again, I use both interchangeably, but on this channel, we're all about everything editing. I want to equip all of you with the right tools and knowledge to make the best decisions to go tell and cut the best stories. So with that being said, I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna get back to editing again. Don't forget to use code JakeyBaby to get that sweet discount on AdMotion. It's so good. You will not regret that as a Final Cut editor. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Consider subscribing, liking, doing all the stuff, hitting my microphone. You guys know what's up. I'll see you guys later. Bye.